Good afternoon everybody, Get Smoked here. I've had a lot of messages over the last little bit about my Barrel Boss smoker and how to use them and, and uh, how hard they are to fire up. So I thought I'd take some mystery out of it and show you guys today. Uh, I got my charcoal. I used the Jealous Devil chunks. I find that it works the best for me. I have my funnel filled up here ready to, to fire up. So we're going to go to the barrel and I'm going to show you how to get the barrel set up to fire up the uh, chimney full of charcoal. So inside you'll see that I have a fire starter block. You can get them usually at Canadian Tire. And I got my lighter. We're just going to pull those out, put them off to the side. First thing we're going to do, take off our temperature probe. We'll pull out our grates. You can see how quickly it's done. Now when we look inside, you'll see that there is the firebox. Nice thing about the barrel boss is if you want to load it up, the firebox comes right on out so you can fill it up. You'll notice at the bottom I have a thin layer of kitty litter. It's scent free all natural clay. It just keeps the grease from building up in the bottom, makes it easy cleanup. You can scoop it out or vacuum it up. Makes things super wonderful. So you can see we have our firebox preloaded. We're ready to start the fire and get this thing heated up. First thing we're going to do, just to make it nice and clean, we're going to put one grate back in. We're going to take our fire block, put it in the center. We're going to light this bad boy up. Nice thing is, is these things stay lit through just about everything. Now that we got fire going on it, all you do is take your chimney or your funnel you put it over top it's going to take about five minutes or so for the charcoal to catch and when it gets warm enough and it's fully caught it will be when you can't keep your hand over top of the uh the funnel for an extended period of time once it's lit we're going to take the grate out and we're going to dump that back down into the fire pot all right so we now got the nice fire going inside the funnel we're just going to take the funnel up You'll see that the fire brick is still going. So what we're going to do is we're just going to gently dump that down there. We're going to dump this into our fire box, which is nice and hot. We're going to get it going. Now we're going to quickly put this all back together. You'll see it goes quite fast once you kind of get the hang of the angles. Just like that. Put my gauge back on. We're going to close it up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open our exhaust port. And then these are what controls our temperature. So when we start them up, we want them nice and open. We want to get that airflow going so we can get the fire stoked. And as we get our temperature up, we'll slowly close these off, reducing the airflow. And you'll find that each drum is different, but you will adjust it to the heat you want just by adjusting the opening. So until we get up to temperature, we'll leave these open, like I said, to get lots of airflow. These thermometers are super accurate overall I found. Uh, the last couple of uses I've used I've compared it to my ink bird and we've been within a few degrees. And that's it. That's how you start it and pretty much once it's set, it's set it and forget it.